So we do see women um, commonly for urinary incontinence. Um, nearly half of women experience urinary incontinence in some ways during their lifetime. And so it's something that a lot of women don't feel comfortable um, mm -hmm. talking about, um, whether it's something that they assumed was just a normal part of aging or something that they felt like would happen after childbirth and that they just have to live with it. Thankfully, there are many options that we can um, offer for women who suffer from these issues. Urinary incontinence or bladder leakage is a very common issue. About one in two women experience this um, problem in their lifetime. And we typically um, find that the two most common types of urinary incontinence are something called stress urinary incontinence, which is where any type of stress or um, pressure on the bladder leads to leakage accidents. And um, Women typically experience this through symptoms like leaking when they're um, doing any type of physical exertion, whether it's going for a walk, exercising, um, lifting up something heavy, or bending over or coughing and sneezing. The other most common type of um, urinary incontinence is urge urinary incontinence or overactive bladder. So this is where we find that the, bl the bladder is overactive. It's it's squeezing when it shouldn't be, and it's that's resulting in uh, leakage of um, uh, urine or loss of control of urine when um, it's doing that. So women in that circumstance might not be able to make it to the bathroom in time. Thankfully, there are options to correct these types of urinary incontinence, and the um, first thing is to identify which type of uh, urinary incontinence women are experiencing, and we target those treatments um, towards that. Want to explain the yeah so um, for those patients who are experiencing what we call stress urinary incontinence or loss of urine with laughing coughing sneezing activity or any sort of stress um, from the abdomen on the bladder it's really the the reason that there is leakage is that it's a loss of support of the urethra which is the tube between I'm gonna zoom in on this diagram the tube between the bladder and the outside world. So this is the urethra and that is where urine comes out of. Um, when that happens, we have many different um, uh, treatment options ranging from very conservative um, to more invasive and surgical. Um, so we have uh, pelvic floor physical therapy. Um, we can fit patients with a pessary, so a silicone device that is placed inside the vagina and it um, provides support through to the uh, urethra from inside the vagina. And then there are also surgical procedures um, which can be used to surgically treat stress urinary incontinence.